He wolfs down too much too fast, and it all goes to his head. I've said a lot about the kid, but he ain't the only one wrapped up in all this. What's he thinking? Well, let me see if I got this straight. I only heard it once. Once there was a normal Ura girl, but she wasn't born in the Tassel Terminals like the rest of her people. She was from Zealandia. Her folks were orphaned in the war, taken in and raised inside the city, on condition they would never return to the terminals. <laughs> Refugees who came into the city had to stay for life. It was a way to reduce the risk of city secrets leaking out. away from birth and complications, leaving the girl trapped inside that city with no one but her father. sharper than a brusher's pike, so he got a job working for the city's mansers. His daughter barely saw him. The father told her nothing of her Ura heritage. He told her nothing of the mansers. It's for your own good, he said. Took to studying the arts, learn more through music than history books, gain a knack for strings and songs. At first, she tried to be like other girls. But her classmates spread word that her father was an Ura traitor, selling out the city. <laughs> One young man stood up for her, or so he led her to believe. He knew much of her heritage, and she grew fond of him.
her to take him to a family den to meet a father. Spoke of how he wanted to meet a man from the terminals. <laughs> her father in the Ura's native language, her father flew into a fit of rage and threw them out. is not to be used by foreigners. To do so is a terrible insult. <laughs> She decided to escape. The two of them could flee the city together and go to the Tazel terminals. inside a garbage bin until it got ingested by a scumbag, then let him slosh on out of the city for disposal. <laughs> Scumbag sidled up to the city walls. The young man had sent the authorities a tip. Told him her father was using her to sell secrets to the Tazel terminals. One day that wall is gonna fall. Don't build that city on a hill. father were arrested for treason, but her father got a deal. Return to work for the Mansers, and she'd go free. To the sky. Uh -huh. 
Before they parted ways for the last time, her father whispered a desperate plea. Hurry home to the den and lock yourself in. Someday your bird is gonna fly. When the kid wakes up, his world's still in pieces, just the way he left it. <laughs> 